what is up guys before we start this video I want to quickly say if you have not already be sure to add me on snapchat and Instagram it's just peel and drag I use those two platforms to keep you guys updated and give you kind of behind the scenes type things also if you guys ever have good or bigger questions that are more in-depth that's a much better spot to ask me than on the comments of YouTube so anyways uh, in this video we're going after carp in the river on the fly rod I've been wanting to do that for a long time and I finally gotten around to it uh, we had a pretty good day, caught some nice fish. It was pretty difficult. Um, it was a little hard to not scare them all the time, but we ended up catching some fish. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, <clears throat> I just got my first carp on the fly. Awesome. I just was throwing this fly. I saw all, all these carp swimming around here. Oh man, don't come off. No, 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 go, don't go under that tree. I only have eight pound line on. Oh geez, get out of there, dude. Awesome, that was crazy. I'm seeing all these carp swimming around here, guys. And there's quite a few of them. And the, no, most of them are just average size, but I was just throwing to this one guy. I threw my little fly out there in the sky. I saw him swimming over to it. I, it, I thought it was too good to be true, because I've been here for a while so, uh, trying to get his carp. And uh, he came over and he just sucked it right up. That is awesome. There's lots of weeds around here I have to be really careful of. Unfortunately, I didn't get the hooks out on him. But uh, yeah, there's lots of weeds around here. I've got an eight pound leader on here. So I have to be really careful with this guy. I've caught a couple carp on a fly rod in a pond before, but they're real small carp. And in the pond, you know, it wasn't too difficult. But I've been here for probably about 45 minutes and I was hooked into my first little carp here. That is awesome. I wish he was in a little better area so I could fight him out a little better. I'm really not letting him fight too much because he's in such tight corners here. Can't believe I've been able to control him so well with eight pound line. Here we go, in the net. Got him, nice. Awesome guys. Well, there's a little look at what I got him on. It's, uh, I don't really know what, to, what it's called. I picked up the fly shop. They told me it was a good fly for a carp. So pretty cool. Not a real big carp, maybe like a four or five pounder tops. But still, my first little carp of the day, that's pretty awesome. I've seen some pretty big ones around here, so let's keep at it. Maybe we can get some bigger ones. All right, there you go, dude. See you later. There you go, guys, there's a carp. Nice, right in front of me, he grabbed that. That was awesome, guys. That's a little bigger one than the last time. Awesome, guys. There's some runs for us in the fly reel. Oh, man. Gotta start chasing him down now. He was right in front of me. I saw a group of them right there. Dang it, there's a lot of weeds in here. I have to be careful of because they're gonna drag me in there and get off. Feels like he's still on. Man, that is awesome. He's still on, he's still on. Gotta pull him out of here. Awesome, guys. I was, I might be getting lucky here because I was expecting this to be really difficult and it's still hard. It's hard to find them. But once I find them, they're not being too hard to catch. It's hard to not spook them, basically. If I can't, if I can find them and not spook them, then uh, I'm usually in luck. This is a really cool mix up from uh, normally how I normally fish them too. Normally just, you know, bank fishing with corn, kind of sitting and waiting. And now I'm stalking these fish, looking for them and casting to them, sight fishing for them. That's pretty sweet. A cool switch up for sure. There we go. He's probably a little under 10 pounds actually. He's probably more like eight pounds. A nice little fish, not too bad. A good second fish. It was only like probably 30 minutes after the last one. So we're getting on, getting on him a little bit. Still need some more numbers, but hey, it's a great start. Look at that carp. There he goes. See you later, dude. All right guys, so so far where I've seen all the fish and where I've been catching all the fish, I've just been on the side of the river in little, like not really pockets, but just areas like this where there's like overhanging trees, lots of weeds kind of clogged up right there. I can actually see one carp swimming under the weeds right now. 
Um, and then there's just like trees hanging out, like they're kind of shooting out into the river. Uh, just kind of creates weeds usually that hang up on them and the carp can hang underneath the weeds. And in general, just kind of congregate around that whole area. And they'll just kind of circulate around the area from what I've seen. And so I'll just kind of you know, watch them, keep an eye on them, and then throw right in front of them once they're swimming, you know, in my direction. And then they just kind of suck it up occasionally. Most of them ignore it, but you do get the occasional hungry one that will come by and suck it up. So that's what I've been doing so far. Let's keep at it and uh, get a few more. There we go, guys. There's a carp. Nice, finally got one on. It has been a while since I've hooked a fish. I hate putting so much pressure on these guys. Oh crap, now he's, ah, man. I don't like putting pressure, so much pressure on them because I've only got eight pound line. It's all open over here and tons of sticks and weeds behind me. So obviously he wants to go over there. Let's loosen this drag a little. Awesome, we're gonna fight him down. Maybe I should walk out to the middle of the river actually. Just so I try to pull them that towards me. It'll be a, little, be a little easier that way. Awesome, this is not a bad little carp here. Carp fishing's fun enough on a conventional ways, you know, I mean, they fight hard all the time, but to be able to catch them on a fly rod and reel, you know, that's just, that's next level in my opinion. Uh, they come up and just gulp it up and it's super cool. It's, you know, unlike any kind of carp fishing I've ever, I've ever done, I've very rarely sight fished for them. I used to a long time ago but I haven't done it for so long, and let alone catching one artificial. This is the first time I've, that I've ever done that. Let's get him in the net. There we go. Awesome. There's a carp, definitely smaller than I thought he was. He's probably only like six, maybe seven pounds. Still great looking carp though, fun to catch. I mean, the fight on these little guys still is crazy. So let's get him back and maybe catch Big Mama. There you go. See you later, dude. Well, that definitely seemed like a kind of morning bite. I caught the first three fish within two hours of getting here, and that was all pretty early in the morning, and now it's been like an hour and a half since I've gotten my last fish. I had a few carp that sucked it up and spit it right back out immediately, or kind of followed it right behind it and then turned away at the last second. So that shows me that there's still it's a little uh, interaction, you know, they're still a little interested in it, but they're not really committing to it. So I'm going right back to the holes where I caught the first couple fish right now, and if there's nothing there, I'm probably gonna go back to the car and try to, to um, just fish a whole different area of the river. So we should be able to get on a few more fish. Let's get at it though. I just barely got the hook set on camera. I don't know if I did or not actually, but got another carp on. I saw him going towards it. Oh crap, no, 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 no. <sighs> Shoot. Stay out, there's lots of sticks over there. Lots of sticks over there. I've been seriously staying here for so long, probably like, 30 minutes at least watching this school of carp. There's probably 20 carp swimming around, but I keep spooking them. And it's, I mean, they'll, well, they kind of, they'll swim up to right next to me and they get spooked. And I uh, finally got one on though. That is awesome. I mean, you know, pike, pike are fun to catch on a fly rod, but you know, switching it up a little bit is always, always very necessary in my opinion. You get a little tired of doing the same thing every time. So coming out here, catching some carp on the fly rod, it's definitely a bit of a struggle, but I mean, hey, it's still fun. I mean, if these guys were really easy to catch, I guess it wouldn't be as fun to catch because it wouldn't be, wouldn't be as rewarding in my opinion. All right, he's getting a little tired out here now. Let's get the net ready here. There we go, awesome. Here he is, nice looking carp. Let's let her go. Smallest one of the day, but still tons of fun to catch. There we go, guys. Oh man, finally. Oh my gosh. It has taken way too long. Ah, jeesh. Now, this is where I caught the first one, and uh, now we have to go through the whole thing again of being careful and avoiding all these logs. Let's see, let's bring them out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dang it. Ah, man, that's what I was worried about. Broke me clean off. That sucks. Wasn't a real big one, about the same size as the last one I got, but still, would have been my fifth fish. 
and that is going to be a wrap on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for sticking around all the way to the end. It really means a lot to me. If you did like the video, be sure to let me know in the comments below, as well as giving the video a thumbs up. It's how I tell whether you guys like them or not, and whether I should make more like this or not. So thank you again for watching so much, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.